Hey, so video, uh, this isn't actually a request. This is uh, after reading comments, this is a while back. I was reading um, one of the comments uh, regarding, or from M Westover. Um, so again, always love seeing the dialogue in the comments section. It's just fantastic um, to hear the, the different um, issues and ways of managing things. This one is regarding females in the workplace on a team. We've talked about this before, but this is uh, just going into a little bit more of what she has found, or I'm assuming she has found. Um, so it's issues and taking things out of context. So the comment that was in the comment section was, um, in her comment was one issue that was uh, that the emotional girl wouldn't give herself permission to own her feelings and talk about them before they exploded in my face. The other issue was that you couldn't talk to the anxious girl without her taking everything personally. How is, uh, if she said, how is that report coming? Um, it turned out to be the end of the world for that individual. So I find I definitely relate to what that is. Um, the issue that um, we seem to have, like I immediately think of a deer in the headlights where we are sitting there and it's like, what? Like we're, so I actually had this conversation just a couple days with a man who's an INTJ and they have similar frustrations where what, from my own personal perspective, my goal for going to work was working, getting my stuff done, and then leaving. That's it. Um, and whatever comes up, that's fine. But the socialization thing isn't just isn't part of it. It's not something that I I care about one way or another. So the deer in the headlight comes to mind because we aren't ready for that. We're not a. We wouldn't have necessarily that feeling of being defensive over a comment say of what how is that report coming um and i find <laughs> so i'm just looking at my notes here um it's it's difficult because we have to like it's hard to describe um i found for myself i had to actually tell people at work, especially females, um, that I literally just take it at face value. That's like what you said is what you said. So I'm not looking for nuances. As soon as I have to start looking for nuances, then it becomes really draining and exhausting. And I want to go and hide in my office even more because I am spending too much mental energy on trying to make subtle connections in navigating a uh, web of social dynamics that I I don't care to be part of when I'm just trying to get a job done and I also find that sometimes you do end up where these type of social dynamics will potentially impede um, dealing with your projects because they might be in a, pos uh, a higher position than you however they're still being part of the the social um, soup, I guess, that um, is happening, that's detracting. But so sometimes you do have to navigate that stuff. Um, but the best thing I found for me is just to make sure that usually it was joking that I was like, hey, by the way, like, unless you like, if you want me to try and make sense of something, just tell me straight up, like you're not gonna, you know, insult me, whatever. And I don't wanna um, hurt feelings, but I'm trying to be as efficient as possible. So if something is not right, then let me know because otherwise I, I don't want to go into a bit more of the quagmire. So I guess at the end of this whole idea of, um, dealing with emotions in the workplace. Um, I personally, I don't have the best answers. I only know for myself being honest about 
and using or and using comedy or humor as a tool to deliver that message was the best way I found to navigate around that instead of um, speaking to the issues there because then you end up with a bit more of the um, you're stuck in that soup and you can't really get out and we don't want to necessarily be there at least I didn't so um, just know all of you that are potentially in these types of situations in the workplace you are not alone as an INTJ female so uh, hang in there and actually an INTJ male because as I said um, just had conversations about this type of thing um, with regards to a man with his male supervisor. So uh, anyways, love to hear other people's comments, how they handled it. Um, maybe some INTJs out there are more, um, uh, just more dynamic in how they are handling it as, as opposed to being uh, just trying to relay that um, we are somewhat different than other females and doing it in a way that kind of makes sense to them via humor. So um, love to hear what other people's thoughts are on that. And uh, thanks so much. As always, video requests, just leave in the comment section. Thanks.